Welcome back to Firex Techs. My name is Henry. Before we get started, if you have any save games or ROMs on the internal memory of the device, make sure you first copy this over to your computer or your SD card. We will start on the computer to download the Gamma OS software itself. Version 1.5.1 has recently been released and supports the 405M, 405V, and the 505. We start by navigating to the GitHub page by clicking on the Gamma OS link in the description. You can scroll down here and check the changes in this version, like the added fan control for the 405V or the addition of aptX Bluetooth audio support. But to start your download, we'll need to scroll down to Assets and find the link for your specific device and choose either the normal full version or the light version. The difference being that the full version includes Google services and the Google Play Store, while the light version does not. The next piece of software we need is called ADB Fastboot. Click on the ADB link in the description, then click on the ADB Fastboot EXE link under Assets. Now you should have these two files that we downloaded. Run the ADB Fastboot EXE, click Run and accept the agreement, hit Next, hit Next again, keep desktop shortcuts and system path boxes checked, then click Next. Before clicking Finish, make sure that the top box Install Universal ADB Driver is checked and uncheck the bottom two boxes, then click Finish. Make sure your device or Android phone is not connected to your computer, then continue to click Next until this is done. Now we will need to unzip the Gamma OS file we downloaded. When it is done, go to the Gamma OS folder, then into the Unisoc Drivers folder, select the version of Windows you're using. Windows 11 can use Windows 10. In here, run the dpinst64.exe setup file. Hit Next, and when it is done, you will need to restart your computer. While the computer is restarting, let's set up the RG405M. First, remove any SD card from your device. Go to the settings of the device and scroll all the way down and tap the About Handheld Game System. Then scroll all the way down again and tap the build number seven times or until it shows you are now a developer. Back out one step and tap on System. Scroll down to Developer Options and tap on that. Then look for USB Debugging and turn that on and tap OK. Once your computer is back on, you can connect your device to the computer. Click Allow on your device. Now back on your computer, launch the ADB and Fastboot application using the icon from the desktop. You will then want to type in or copy from the video description ADB Reboot Bootloader and hit Enter. When you do this, the device should go black and after a few moments, will stop on the Ambernix screen with a message that says Fast Boot Mode. Now click on the link in the description titled Unisoc Bootloader Unlock Tool. Make sure to use Google Chrome for this site, and it should take you to a web page that looks like this. You will then click the Connect button, a pop-up will show up, and select the option Fast Boot Gadget and click Connect, then click the Unlock button. You will now see a message on your device to confirm or cancel using the volume keys. However, we will use the home slash back button to accept. When it is done, you will see the message unlock bootloader success. We can now go back to the computer and you will see that it says unlocked. Make sure to close out of the browser window for this next step to work. Back in the ADB Fastboot console, we will type or copy from the description Fastboot Reboot Fastboot and then hit enter. The device will go black again and will boot us to the Fastboot D screen. Once you see this, we can close out of the console, go to the Gamma OS folder that we unzipped, launch the flash partitions.bat file. When you do this, a console window will pop up and just make sure that it shows the correct device type at the top. The install will start in 30 seconds and will take anywhere from five to 10 minutes to install. When it completes, it will close itself or you can close it manually. Next, we will need to run erase user data bat. Ignore any error messages that may pop up, and this may take some time. Once that is done, you can click the power button on the device and disconnect it from your computer. On the first boot up, it will hang on the Ambernic logo for around five minutes, and then we'll go through the Gamma OS initial setup process, which will then take another few minutes. Once it is done though, you will be prompted by the Android setup screen. Just follow through the walkthrough, and you will be on Gamma OS, 
and Digisho will load automatically. You have now finished installing Gamma OS. If you want to know more about how to use or set up Gamma OS, including linking ROMs, adding more systems, changing themes, and hotkeys, I have another video that goes over all of that that I have linked to this one. If you found this video informative or helpful, please give it a like, subscribe for more content from FireX Techs, and thank you for watching.